Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back. All right. Um, we're going to get into this fury with Usyk thing today. Uh, Frank Warren says he's got big news. He promises big news tomorrow. And if you're listening to this in the UK, that's to later today. Um, I'm going to... Before we get into it, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog on all forms of social media. Quick hits comes at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day, to keep you up to date on the latest and greatest boxing news and rumors. Please also subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. Uh, all proceeds go to autism research and recovery. All right, let's get into um, today's show. Frank Warren, um, and I, I put this on Twitter, and someone said uh, Fury versus uh, Valiant 2. That's the big news. That's the big news. Um, <laughs> Frank Warren promises big news tomorrow. He's going to have a big announcement, and I can promise you one thing, what that won't be. That won't be Fury and Usyk. And I know people got their hopes up, people, all types of things. What's not going to happen tomorrow is you're not going to go put the TV on. You're not going to put the scroll through your Twitter feed and, and, and find out that Fury signed to fight Usyk. Do you know why? Because Fury's scared of Usyk. Fury's not going to fight Usyk because he clearly can't beat him, and he knows that, right? Like, we've been over this time and time again. There is a 0% chance, and I said this, and it looked, when, when, when Usyk agreed to the uh, look. The April 29th date is, is 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 five weeks out. It's not happening. Okay, scratch that. Okay, it's done. It's not happening. <clears throat> um, I said this when Fury when Usyk agreed to the thirty percent. When he I said that was ridiculous. He shouldn't accept less than one penny less than fifty one percent. Um. I said he wasn't gonna. Fury wasn't gonna fight him. I said then, and y'all thought it was going to happen. It's not going to happen. Fury can't beat him. Fury knows that. Fury had so much energy for every other fight. He had so much energy for Wallace. Send the contract. I'll sign it. So much uh, energy for AJ. Send the contract. I'll sign it. Uh, Dillian White. Uh, Chisora Part 17. Right? Like, all these fights. He had so much energy for him. Wanted to make him. Wanted to make him. Wanted to make him. When it comes to Usyk, well, I need about half a billion dollars and make your best offer, and I'll let you know, and I might be retired, but I might come out of retirement to fight Chisora, but I'm not going to fight Usyk. This is the biggest known duck I've ever seen. Like, this is so obviously a duck. There's no other way he can't blame a promoter. He Usyk's a free agent. He can't blame... Um, mandatories he can't blame sanctioning bodies he can't blame timing he can blame nothing nothing um when when fury fought tesora and it was like oh he'll come back in april he'll come back in april and fight usik <laughs> no he won't I said, no, I said, there's a zero percent chance of that happening. I said, when he fought, you can go back. I, this is all recorded, guys. You can go back and listen to this. I'm not, I'm not Monday morning quarterback. I said all of this at the current time. When Fury signed to fight Uzi, that was uh, when Fury signed to fight um, Chisora for the third time for absolutely no reason. I said, okay, well, there goes the the, the Usyk fight. That's a duck. He can't wait two months. He can't wait till March or April to fight three months. I mean, the guy has so many gaps. He can't wait to fight Usyk. Usyk just fought in August. 
I can't wait till March. I mean, it was so stupid. Look, Fury, you can say whatever. He's a nut job. He's a little weird. He's a little crazy. You can say whatever you want about him. One thing he is not is stupid. He's not stupid. He knows he can't. Like, I, I've been said this. How is he? Give me the path to victory. Joshua was a bigger hitter than Fury. Joshua couldn't knock him out. Tesoro is a bigger hitter than Fury. Tesoro couldn't knock him out. If those guys couldn't knock him out, Fury can't knock him out. Okay, so Fury's game plan can't be to go knock him out. What's his game plan then? To outbox him? God, he'll lose every round. Like, I, I've been said, Fury's a very good heavyweight. Usyk's a great fighter who just happens to be a heavyweight. Like, you can put Usyk in any weight class, and he just becomes Lomachenko. Like, Fury is probably a top 15 heavyweight. There aren't five guys, seven guys, maybe five, in the history of boxing I would pick to beat Usyk in a heavyweight match. That, that's how good Usyk is. And I've been said that. You can go back, all the way back to when he was a cruiserweight. And I used to call in on, on, on the boxing voice and argue with Ness. He would destroy Wilder. He would destroy Joshua. He would destroy all these guys. This is not Monday morning quarterback. He's 6'2", 220. That is a small. Heavyweight is not too small. And Steve Bredman Edwards backed me up on that, right? Like, heavyweights have been that size for 50 years. It's not all of a sudden too small. He's got enough power. He's got enough size. He will be a smaller heavyweight. But he, and I've said this about quarterbacks, right? Like, the reason Zach Wilson sucks is not because he's too small. Yes, he's a smaller quarterback. The reason why he sucks is because he has no skills, right? He can't complete intermediate passes, right? Over the middle of the field, it's always high and behind the receiver. Uh, down the field, he's the least accurate passer in the league, right? Under pressure, he's the least accurate passer in the league. And his short stuff is uniquely bad. Like, I've never seen anyone, like, bounce screen passes, like, peg him into the ground. It's like, he's so bad. But it's got, none of that has anything to do with his size. He's not too small. He's just small. He's just smaller. And it's the same thing with Usyk, right? But Usyk's really good, right? You know, it's like Zach Wilson in, in reverse. Like, he, he's really good. He can do all these things. He's not. He's not too small. It's like saying Allen Iverson is too small because he's six foot tall. It's like, no, he's not. <laughs> Clearly, he's not right. And, and but that's where Usyk is. So I don't know what Frank Warren is or isn't going to say tomorrow, but I know what he's not going to say. What he's not going to say is Usyk versus Wild, uh, Fury is done. There's not a deal that Fury would take. Usyk told him he'd take the 30%. Uh, he'd take the short money. He called his bluff because it's a ridiculous offer, but Usyk wanted the fight that much that he was going to take short money to get it. Cement his legacy. He becomes the undisputed heavyweight and cruiserweight champ. He's on a real short list, man. He's on a real short list. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, on all forms of social media. Quick hits come down to you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day, to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Please also subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube, Texas Boxing Scene. Um, all proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. It is March 20th, 2023, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.